everybody. Hope you guys are all doing good. I'm Team Kills, and what I like to do is make gaming easy-er. And this video is going to be about Dauntless' new escalation. We're going to climb that mountain. Tell you what you need to know so you can go up there and get eaten by a dragon. Now, there technically is a little bit more going on here, and I don't want to gloss over it. So this video, instead of making it an eternal one, is going to be a two-parter. Now, in this part, we're going to cover where to start, how to play, and what to expect. In part two, it's going to be all these, and whatever else I forgot. Now, the first thing you need to know to start this whole thing is you got to go talk to the lantern guy with the backwards name, Arkin Drew. It should be Drew Arkin, my opinion only, I guess. He's going to ask you to climb the mountain, which means go play Escalation which you can simply pick from the normal mission board we can get all the other missions now don't feel overwhelmed this is not actually that hard but remember escalation is an endurance so you're not going to be able to change your armor weapons or any regeneratives that you picked for this hunt you're kind of stuck with them for the entire time so make them last or save them till the end now the behemoths they're only going to be level 1 to 15 you can run into any behemoth or behemoths there is four hunts in total, or four sections where you're going to do this. Now after you kill a behemoth, there's a crystal that's going to get charged with dead behemoth essence. You're going to have to go over there and pick one of three different perks or amps for the next round. Now, in part two of my escalation training, I'm going to dive deeper into what these amps are, or exactly in my opinion what the best ones are to pick. But for now, we're going to move on. So once you make your pick, the vent's going to open up that's going to shoot you to the next round. And you're going to do this four times until you're done or you're dead. After that, you're going to return back to Ramsgate and you got to talk to Arkin Drew again. Now he's going to ask you to buy one talent point on your brand new amp upgrade skill system with the crystals that you just got. Now Aether Charge Crystals are the points that you need to go towards your lantern or towards this amp chart. Now these skills aren't permanent or they're kind of permanent. Once you activate them, they will stay for your entire hunt. But you can change your mind anytime you want once you're out of the hunt by just simply pressing triangle and it'll reset the whole thing. So after you've activated one talent point, Drew Arkham's gonna say, congratulations, do it five more times. So now we gotta rinse and repeat. We gotta do the escalation enough times so that we can unlock five more amps. Now once we do that, we've earned the right to participate in the level 10 to 50 escalation, which is gonna be rough. This is the top of the mountain. This is where the dragon that eats lightning lives. Now, this is my main focus of part two. Mainly because there are some things that you need to know before you get there. He's tough. And you're going ha to have to farm. You're going to have to toughen yourself up. And while you're doing it, there's a bunch of things that I think we should mention. Like ground effects. There are lightning circles that explode. There are these crystals that explode. You, there are dark gravity balls that if left alone will explode. We have snails, electrified snails that leave electrified slime trails and they also shoot electricity balls. And these lightning puppies, rabid lightning puppies, I hate these things. I've even run into Boris's explosive baby bat bombers with the Helion, like that's not fair. But just like the trials, these are things we all need to watch out for. Speaking of watch out, very quick mention, there's a new heads up display. Here's the behemoth level. The health, it's always been the same. The new danger meter. And this is to show you what type of amp that you've chosen. Now, this is not a race. There is no time thing going on here at all. But, the lower the danger level is, the higher the reward you're going to receive. So you kind of want to hurry. And also, the, the lower the danger level is, the tougher the next behemoth is going to be or the higher level there's going to be now that's a must when you're in the second part and you're trying to spawn the macaron dragon I keep saying that wrong so you don't necessarily need to rush but don't take your time and make sure to pick your friends up now I've heard or it was being said that shroud was broken it won't be in escalation until he was fixed well I guess they fixed him or, or that was wrong I'm not trashing anyone's information but he's here so be careful which brings me to the last thing that I want to say before I wrap this up. It's the combinations of behemoth. Sometimes you're going to get some combinations that are they're kind of funny. These guys are, excuse me, running around each other. And then you're going to get some combinations that are, well, hard to handle. 
Because there's so many different situations with this double behemoth fight, which are awesome, but it's kind of hard for me to say, go kill that one first. What I can say is, I know you might think it's smart to attack the easiest behemoth and kill him, get him out the way. A lot of times it's smarter or safer to get rid of the tough guy first. For example, what if the Nausicaa is one of your guys? You leave him for too long, he's going to make you regret it. He's going to mine the field with electric balls and it's going to be hard to take care of the one that was easy. Now once that tougher one's down, in my opinion, now's the time for you all to pile on the easy guy and beat him to death. So that's pretty much it. So choose right. Stay safe, but hurry. Tune in for part two, or I'll fill in all the other blanks. I know I left a lot out. Join the team of killers. Become a killer of teams so you won't miss part two. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. It's the only way we could talk. Keep it easy. And remember, just keep gaming.